Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So it has been almost four years since I filmed a foundation collection video. And let me tell you, that video did not do well. Huh? In fact, it's one of my least viewed videos <laughs> of all time. Here's my foundation collection and we're gonna get into it. The good, the bad, the ugly. I think what I want to do is just select them at random, but I'm going to start with what I'm wearing today in case you guys are wondering. It is my current favorite foundation. I think it makes the most beautiful, flawless base you could ever imagine. It's the Max Factor Pan Stick. This was supposedly Marilyn Monroe's favorite foundation. I don't know. I have mine the shade True Beige 12. Um, it's a stick foundation, obviously. It's amazing. This is, it smells really old. It smells like old makeup. <laughs> but this is like the most amazing foundation in the world. Um, I absolutely love it. You cannot convince me otherwise. I've not been able to stop using this since I got it. So like, it's incredible. If you are one of the 68 viewers on my old foundation video, I think I have two of the same foundations since that video, and they are the exact same foundations. Oh my god! Ah uh, yes, the bad. Uh, this is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Do you guys want to see an ASMR version of this video? Let me know down below. Um, this foundation, I have mine in the shade 002 Neutral Ivory. I think I've used it twice. I used it in the testing video, and then I think I used it one more time. Should I give this foundation another try? Because I absolutely hated it. It was awful. Like, and I can't even remember what was so awful about it, other than I think it was, like, super cakey and just disgusting on my skin. Um, but if you guys want me to give this another go, make sure to like this video and comment down below and let me know if you want me to try this again. I will link all of these testing videos. I think almost every single one of these foundations probably has a testing video, so I will link all of them that have testing videos down below in case you want to see, like, my first impressions and how they look on my skin. This is one of the oldies. Uh, this is expired and I never wear it. I wore it twice, I think, as well. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This was sent to me from Influencer and uh, it's terrible. First of all, they sent it to me in the wrong shade. They sent me Light One, which, as you might be able to tell, I know it looks close, but this is like paper white. Like, I mean, it's white. I can't smell it anymore, but it used to smell like spit. It is a very expensive foundation. I believe it's $68. Um, no thank you. I keep it more for the memories and more for the fact that it was a $68 foundation and I think it looks pretty in my collection. I obviously do not wear it. Uh, it's not my shade and it's way expired. <laughs> Forgot about this. Uh, the Morphe Filter Light, no, Filter Effect. This is the Morphe Filter Effect. I have mine in the shade Light. Four. Uh, one of the most asked questions I get on my channel is how do I find my shades? Um, I don't really have much of an answer. Sometimes I will use shade finders to help find my shade, like there's one on Sephora's website, but sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I just guess, and apparently I guessed way wrong on this one. Um, I should never have picked something that was light four. Something that has four in the title is not going to be my shade. Very yellow. It's very yellow. I mean, it's probably not far off. I do remember using this foundation. Um, and I probably haven't used it since that video. Because I don't really go for full coverage much. And what I do remember about this foundation is obviously how full coverage it is. And maybe I should really give it another go. I just stabbed myself with this. Okay. Ow. Here we have the Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation. Now this is a full coverage foundation that I do sort of like. Um, I have mine, I think in the shade Bali. It has a pump. I love a tube with a pump. Like, I don't know, there's something so fun about that. 
I have worn this foundation a few times. It is incredibly full coverage. Um, it's a natural radiance foundation, but it is like super full coverage. It's much closer to my actual shade. It is also a little bit more orange. It does lean a little bit more orange, but like it's nowhere near as, oh, it's so thick. Oh my goodness. Um, it's so thick, but it's like, oh God. Like, look at that. You could blend that in all day. I could, like, cover my whole hand with that one pump. I do like that foundation. I don't go for full coverage foundations. So, I mean, that's the main reason I don't wear that one that often. It has nothing to do with the foundation. The foundation is great quality. It's also fairly affordable um, for a high coverage, like, foundation. This is the Rare Beauty foundation. I have mine in 130 neutral. Um, I can't ever remember what this is called. I absolutely love this foundation. If I'm going to go full coverage, it's going to be this one. Um, it has a wand, a big old dofa applicator. I love it. I really do. It's truly such a good foundation. This color is perfect. It's absolutely perfect for me and if I want to go full coverage this is like full coverage but also still dewy that one is definitely one of my favorite like full coverage foundations it's probably closer to medium but it's still it's wonderful um okay this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I have mine in Swan it has a pump it has adorable packaging I have not used it since I tested it like this video if you want me to do a full face of makeup that I don't like. Maybe that's what I'll do next week. <laughs> Finally, a good one. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I love this. Not necessarily a foundation. Um, I have mine in shade 1, fair. They have come out with more shades now, and I do want to get another one. Although, this one is good. It's a little orangey, but most of the time I wear this underneath my foundations. Oh, I love, I love this though. It's got a giant doe foot as well. This is such a good base to any foundation. It's also great by itself. In the summer, I really like wearing this by itself because it gives me like a summery, glowy look and I love that. It makes my skin look super healthy. I will say I don't think I have tried this with the Max Factor Shade Stick. Mostly because I feel like, personally, this would not go over well with a stick foundation. And I just don't know how a stick foundation would blend on top of this. I'll have to try it sometime because I love this. <laughs> Old Faithful. Uh, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, this is my most used foundation. Mostly probably because it is incredibly old. I have mine in 1N0 Porcelain. Guys, this is the same bottle that I got for the testing video. That was probably like five years ago. Don't come for me. Please don't come for me. I'm so sorry. I will say, the other day, I opened it up just in the last week. I opened it up to use it. And I took a whiff. <laughs> And I decided, nope, I'm done. I'm finally done using this foundation. It's like so almost empty. I wish I could let it like calm down. It's like all the way down to here. Like I used so much of this foundation. The way this smells like expired paint uh, can't be good. <laughs> so I finally have retired this old nasty foundation. You may cheer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, am I gonna throw it away? Probably not, but I'm also not going to be using it. This is the Merit Beauty. Um, what is this called? Perfecting Complexion Stick. I'm turning it. Which way am I turning it? I don't... Ooh. Anyway, I have mine in the shade Linen. I love this, as you guys can probably tell. This is wonderful. Um, I need to get back into using this. It's very hard to get back into using this when I have the pan stick, but this is so good. I will say I think it feels very similar to the pan stick. Like, it's, it is also very, very good quality. Um, it's a little bit pricier, 
but Merit's products are extremely good, especially if you are someone who wears makeup on like a daily basis and just needs like the basic necessities. All of their products are like creams. They're wonderful for everyday use. They're wonderful for no makeup makeup looks. They were so kind to send this to me. Merit is great and I highly recommend that foundation. This is the MAC Waterweight SPF 30 foundation. I have mixed feelings. Um, this one is in a dropper, as you guys can probably tell. And I have mixed feelings about this. I loved this. Loved it at first. Like, I thought it was great. And I really liked it with my e.l.f. Halo Glow. But let me tell you, this is, like, not for every day. I actually went to go use this yesterday with my e.l.f. Halo Glow and wound up washing all of my makeup off and starting over with the pan stick because like, I don't know if maybe I used too much or what happened, but my makeup looked so cakey. I don't know if it was a combination of like the primer I was using. I am not sure, but it was terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even remember how I feel about this. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have mine in the shade too. This is like a little squeezy tube, little squeezy bottle. Don't even remember how I feel about this foundation. I'm pretty sure I liked it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I like this. Definitely the right shade for me. This is so out of my rotation that I am not even sure how I feel about it anymore. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I have mine in 520 Fair. This is so good. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. It has a bit of an interesting smell to it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's the coconut milk that like makes it smell the way it smells. Um, but I love this. I love like a really good like natural looking uh, foundation that's buildable. And this is definitely buildable. It's dewy. It's beautiful on my face. All of my like cream products blend effortlessly with this foundation. It also works incredibly well with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Like those two together were a great summer combo for me. I wore those two a lot together in the summer. And here's the foundation I bought at the same time as that. The L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Foundation. I have mine in the shade Ivory 10 which if you guys watched my testing video, you would know that this has like a bit of an olive undertone to it. I love the way this one smells also. It has uh, SPF 50 in it and it does smell a little bit like sunscreen and like I love that about it. But as you guys will notice, it does have a bit of an olive undertone to it, which I personally love. For us fair skinned girlies, it is hard to find like fair skinned foundations that have a little bit more of an olive undertone. Um, and I don't necessarily think I have an olive undertone, but I do think olive undertones look really good on me. I've only had two foundations that had like this strong of an olive to them and I think they balance out the redness in my skin and make me look a lot more even. It is definitely one of my top five foundations that I have. It's so, it has such good coverage for what it is. Like, it's just a serum foundation and it has sunscreen, but it also has incredible coverage and buildable coverage. And it also works wonderful with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Um, this is in Fair 20N. And honestly, I should probably throw this away. It's old. I didn't not like this foundation. Like, I definitely did like it. I don't know. It's just kind of basic. I feel like there's nothing too exciting about this foundation at all. Um, I did always want to try the, what is it, like a serum? There was another pretty fresh thing that was not foundation. It was like a serum or something. Um, maybe it's tinted moisturizer or something like that. BB cream. I don't know. Whatever they called it. There was another one and I should have tried that. I don't have a lot to say about this, to be completely honest with you. I can't really remember how I felt about it at the time. I can't tell you how I feel about it now. It's old and expired. I don't use it anymore. And also, I think I'm gonna throw it out. Oh my, oh no. 
jump scare. That's disgusting. This is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This is my love. I felt so strongly about it. I still feel so strongly about it. The only problem is it's really old and expired. I loved this foundation. It's very orange. I probably didn't need this shade. Did I tell you guys what I had? Hint of marshmallow. Apparently this is still available. There was something, I don't know, there was something about this like advertisement or something that I thought it wasn't gonna be around forever. I will probably throw this out and I will probably buy a new one. Um, just cause this one is very old and as you guys saw it is very separated and icky. Um, it's only good for 12 months and I've probably had it for three years. I'm gonna throw this out, but I will think about repurchasing it probably will repurchase it because I love this. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Next up is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't think I like this so much at first. I have mine in Fair 120 Neutral. It's almost empty. Like, this is so light, actually. Um, it's crazy and it's very dirty. I'm so sorry. It's very full coverage and it's... I think I was just using too much, honestly because lately I love this. Like I get along with this super, super well lately. And it's like kind of up there. It's not in my top five for sure, but it is up there. I do really enjoy this foundation. And I do find that I think it works much better like with a very moisturized base. And then I also like to blend it out with a sponge because that takes away some of the coverage. This is actually really good. It's a really good foundation and I quite enjoy it. And you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean, it does say like that you could use it as a moisturizer and you could reapply every two hours. I don't know in what world they think that's happening. Like, okay, that was the tiniest little, it just like what, like it just spat this out. Like, this is so full coverage. Who, who is using this as like a moisturizer? It is very like creamy, almost greasy feeling like you would expect like a sunscreen ish to be like, no one's using this like full coverage foundation. I guess medium coverage, probably not full, like medium coverage foundation as a sunscreen like no one's doing that. Here is the hourglass tinted skin veil, I think. A few moments later. No, I always call it that. It's like the Vanish stick. But I have mine the shade 3. I love this packaging so much. Hourglass is so bougie. It's like a little triangle. And like, honestly, I wouldn't say that this is like any better quality than my Merit Beauty one. It's definitely more coverage. And I wanted this foundation for such a long time. And I finally bought it and it's just like it's good it's a good foundation but there are so many foundations that i like more than this one and i will say i think this also has more of like an olive undertone to it like looking at it right now and like seeing it, i do think this is like a little bit more olivey oh yeah like definitely definitely has some like olive in there there's nothing horribly exciting about it to me. Not like for the price and for the hype that Loralee Los Angeles gave this. I just, I just, there's other things I like more. There's so many other ones that I like more than this. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I have mine in two neutral. Now this is a smidgen. Like, just a little smidgen too dark for me. I felt so bougie getting this Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I will add this to the list of full coverage foundations that I like. I do like this a lot. I've even gone through pictures on Instagram, and I do this sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I go through my pictures on Instagram, and I, like, will pick one when the makeup like screams out to me and I'm like, ooh, I wanna know what I'm wearing in that because I wanna be wearing it again. I have like gone and picked out pictures that have had this because I think it makes my skin look fantastic. And last but certainly not least because it is in my top five of foundations, the L'Oreal True Match. I have mine in N05 Light Neutral or neutral light because it can't read. This, I will say, where did it go? This 
has replaced this. Anytime I would go for like a normal matte-ish look, just needed like a normal foundation to make my skin look better, I would go for the, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now I go for the L'Oreal True Match. I don't think it's technically a matte foundation. It just says super blendable foundation and it is super blendable. This is my go-to just regular foundation. It is an incredibly good foundation. The shade is perfection. It's, it's great quality. Like I can't describe it to you guys other than I probably won't be repurchasing the Estee Lauder Double Wear because this, it, this does the job. Like this does what that always did for me. If I ever needed a foundation that I knew would just last, the color would be good. You know, it's like, it's old faithful, it, you know, for lack of a better term, it's old faithful. This does the job. Like it does it and it does it well. So yeah, that was all 20 of my foundations. I really hope this video does better. It's a different style. I did it differently. I feel like I went into a little bit more detail about each one of these foundations as much as I can possibly remember. Yeah, just in general, I obviously hope this video does better than my last one and surpasses 68 views. That would be fantastic. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends. Help me get it out there. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, what would you guys like to see next? I obviously have a very large collection of makeup and I would love to share with you guys what I have. I haven't been collecting a whole lot of new makeup. Um, I've just kind of been using what I have, making content with what I have. So yeah, if you guys are interested to see what I have and see what you want to see next. I post new videos every single week, usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel and see what I'm posting next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.